Hi, I'm Sky Wonders and I am an Atlanta photographer. Oh yeah, this could all be over. We're not okay. Shattered glass everywhere. Tears of rage. Waiting for the rain to stop and take my pain away. Why'd you have to be that mean? Why'd you do me that way? We should know that we won't be any better. Can't you see that we are drifting apart? I am through trying to hold us together. I just want it to stop, want it to stop. Aha, uh -huh. smoke spirals off your cigarette. Aha, uh -huh. door slam to figure silhouettes. Is this over? Is this over? Is this over? Can this be over? All right, guys, now? hey, welcome back. This is another episode of Get Click where we talk to photographers about photography. And I am here with a Longtime friend, yes. Sky Wonders. Welcome aboard. Thank you for having me, Clark. I appreciate Always it. a pleasure. So, one of the things I don't know about you is your story. How'd you get started in this business? Okay. Well, I could tell you that I always loved photography ever, ever since from when I was a young girl. I was that person that always had one of those box cameras. Mm. <laughs> Even from elementary. You went way back. Yes. So, okay, she's telling a little bit of how old she is, but. But then life came, you know, went to school, college, and, you know, had life. And then in 2004, when my son was born, um, I bought a Nikon camera. It was a D40. Ooh. <laughs> that was a long time Ooh. ago, right? A I, D40. I was going to say 60, she said 40. And then I, uh, then I got a D80. Okay. So I, I kind of upgraded. Moved up in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then people just started asking me, well, can you take photos at my... Mm -hmm. That's how it started. Yeah, and that's how it started, and I was just doing it for fun. It's always interesting when I do these because I find out the journey to this lifestyle mm -hmm. is always different. Yes. One yes. of the things I think keeps us from doing it, not all, but some of us from at an early age, is we don't know how to make it a business. Mm -hmm. When did you first realize you were a professional? I want to say, really, two years ago, a professional professional, because yeah, yeah. I did my my free work of two years mm -hmm. and, and um, shadowing other photographers. And after doing so much free work and knowing that I got to pay bills mm. and take care of my child, and I'm up here working free every day and not bringing any any cash, I finally said, I can do this. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta make this happen. So it just took me to have confidence and go out there on my own. Yeah. You mentioned the fact that there were, there were moments, years maybe, of free and following and shadowing and assistance. How important is it to do that part? It is so important because a lot of people want to run before they, mm. <laughs> before mm. they crawl, not even walk. Mm. They want to run. It's you Sunday, know. so we can preach. Yes, you know. <laughs> a lot of people want to get to the next level without putting in the work. Mm -hmm. So I was willing to make that sacrifice to learn because I didn't go to school right. for photography. So um, my best bet was to learn all that I can. And I got, I mean, I had a great mentor, um, Anthony Tyus. Shout out, Anthony. Anthony, yes. Um, I mean, it was to the point where he sat and had classes with mm. us. You know, he made us do quizzes and right, everything. So, right. and um, his photography is phenomenal. And um, t he taught us about lighting and everything. Um, just understanding your camera, you know, and how to properly do the business on the paperwork side. The part that people don't want to talk about. Contracts, yeah. contracts, which is so important, um, and how to protect your work, mm -hmm. and how to price, and how to. <laughs> Chicken's taking over. I, know. I don't know what to tell you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you shoot with? I shoot with the Nikon D800. 
It's my baby. I love it. it took me a while to get used to and, and really learn the camera. Um, and people who are just starting out and learning your camera, in order to learn your camera, you have to practice, mm. practice, practice, mm. practice. This is a question that everyone hates, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Mm -hmm. you, you get hired for a shoot. Mm -hmm. You don't know any information about it. Mm -hmm. You're going to take your Nikon, but you can only take one lens. What would that lens be? What's your go-to? Oh, I'm, I know I can kill people with this. Hmm. I know, right? It used to be my um, 70 to 200, um, but now I'm shooting with a 105. Mm. And this is, I just got it. And this is my baby right here. You love it now. I love it. Mm. Oh my gosh. The macro? Macro. Macro. So like you can shoot my eyeball and see the vessels. Yes. And, yeah. Dope. Uh, I gotta it's get so one. dope. Yes. One advice you would tell a young Sky Wonders starting out that this Sky Wonders know as a photographer? You have to believe in yourself. If anything else, you are your biggest cheerleader. You have to have the confidence. Once you have that confidence, you can conquer all. And I gotta ask you this, last question. Um, there aren't a lot, it's getting better, but there aren't a lot of top tier female photographers. Yeah. Um, did that affect you in any way, not being able to see a ton of you to model yourself for, or did that make you just want to work even harder to, to possibly be that for someone else? Yeah, that made me work harder. Um, I learned that a lot of female photographers don't work well with other females. <laughs> really? In my experience, <laughs> okay. I've tried to reach out right, to a few right. of them that are pretty good, that are pretty, you know, that's been in the business yeah. for, and they just weren't that open, mm. you know, and it was the, the male photographers that were more yeah, open. Yeah. Again, this series is really important to me because I want to bring photographers together. Mm -hmm. I want to introduce photographers to once they don't know. Mm -hmm. We're in Atlanta and they're a gazillion. Yes. Is that a good number? Yes. <laughs> and we don't do a lot of partnerships and right. collaborations and we should. Yes. So hopefully this will inspire others to reach out to to someone. And, and, and like you said, what's really important is reach back. Yes, yes, yes. And um, I want to say one thing. Um, I just joined you last Sunday on mm -hmm. the faux fur photo sh uh, pop-up sh uh, shoot. Yep. It was amazing. Thank you. you and I appreciate you, you know, allowing me to be a part of it. I really had fun and I'm looking forward to doing more with you and other projects with you. So um, kudos to you in what you're trying to do for the photography community and for these upcoming photographers. Um, it's, it's really needed and it just helps boost the confidence of, you know, upcoming photographers. So thank you so much for you're what welcome. you're doing. Can we show them your photos? Uh, sure. Here it is. Ah. <laughs> Here Once again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This is always a pleasure. Been wanting to schedule this for a while, so I'm glad we got it in. Yes. Our schedule's meshed. Um, it's been huge. Thank you. I know. Thank you, Clark. And it's, um, I'm glad to know you. Like, yeah, you, you are awesome. We've been knowing each other for a minute. I know. And one more thing. What? what I do? You were there when I had my opening of 40 Plus Wonders. Yes, I did. It was great. You supported me. You sponsored your yeah. your radio show and you were there and um you watched me from beginning to now yeah. so i appreciate you're it you're a beast oh thank you thank you your absolute beast is a pleasure to see you as an entrepreneur fight through ups and downs yes. and still push forward yes. so hopefully thank this is a lesson for everybody out there don't quit don't quit Peace. Thank you for watching Get Click. Hold your horses, Mr. Chicken. <laughs> Did I get him? <laughs> Come here. Now you want to hide.
There he is. Gotcha. <laughs> Close up.